I've been a fan of Biltwell for quite some time. The guys over there in Temecula, California have been putting out some really nice clothing, parts and accessories for a number of years. I've really liked the range of helmets that they've had, but there's been one thing holding me back, which is that the helmets have only been dot certified. Now that doesn't mean that these helmets are not safe. It just means that they're not legal in the UK. So when this, the lane splitter, came along, it came with that all-important ECE regulation. The dot rating is not an unsafe helmet, it's just not legal in the UK. Now you could argue that nobody's ever going to check that and you'll be fine. The worry that's always been in the back of my head is that I have a nasty accident, I'm laying in a hospital bed unfortunately somewhere and uh, somebody is explaining from the insurance company to my wife that uh, they're not paying out because I wasn't wearing a legal crash helmet. The lane splitter helmet has an injection molded ABS shell which means that it's tough but it's pretty lightweight. This weighs in at roughly 1500 grams. This beauty is available in eight different colorways. I went for the flat titanium which I think is a really nice looking helmet. That looks pretty badass. The other colours available are bronze metallic, flat black, flat silver, gloss black, gloss blood red, gloss white and the special edition rusty butcher. The lining of the helmet itself is a really nice place to put your head. This is all hand stitched. You have a biofoam guard in the front of the chin bar and the helmet comes with this little chin guard as well. As well as that nice hand stitch liner, you've also got mesh pockets in the side here if you want to fit comms. The fix in is a traditional double D ring, but there's a nice additional feature with the press stud for snapping back to the excess strap is actually movable, so you can get that adjusted exactly how you want it. In terms of ventilation, you have these three elements in the front chin bar and a small element on the side here. These are permanently open. There's no functionality for you to be able to close. They are there all the time. And you've got a really nice slick Venturi at the back, which is just going to help to draw that warm air out. And when it comes to the visor, the eye ports are cut back a fair way. So vision from this is really good. And there will be a few pair of goggles you can wear with this helmet as well. The fastening system is really simple. You've just got this little brass pin and a hole in the visor so you lift that visor up by popping it off there and again when you come to shut it just to push down on that and it's locked nice and simple to do nice and simple with your gloves on the visor itself is easy to remove you've just got a, a screw to undo here and the visor pops off and as well as the clear visor that comes with the helmet built well offer seven different colored varieties that you can upgrade to if you want to buy some accessories for it if you lose this or want to change this, this guard is available as an accessory. You can buy the entire helmet liner as well as an accessory part. And they even do a very nice helmet bag to be able to store it in when you're not riding. So that's enough of the tech overview. What's it actually like to wear and ride? What are my first impressions? Well, first thing I notice is it's much quieter than I was expecting. I've been riding this with no earplugs and you get a lot of uh, the noise of the motor and the bike and the surroundings, but actually not a lot of wind noise. Now I haven't got to up 
to motorway speeds and above but I'm really impressed actually with how quiet this helmet is compared to some of the others that I've tried. These three vents on the front are fantastic, really good airflow, plenty of cooling air coming through, I really like that. I guess if you're riding in colder conditions you might want to have to stick some tape or something behind it because you can't close those off. But in uh, uh, warm or hot climates this is going to be perfect and that Venturi seems to work well, you get a decent amount of airflow despite the fact there's no vents on the front at the top here, you get a really decent airflow through the helmet. Fit wise, well, it's very comfortable. I think it's probably more of a, a round shape head than an intermediate oval that will fit this better. Uh, I don't have any problems with this. It fits me quite nicely. And I think actually it will fit a pretty broad range of head sizes. For me personally, I have to be honest and say this is more comfortable than my Bell Bullet. Don't tell anyone. If you ignore the price, this is still a really great helmet. And it's one that I think is gonna be pulled out of the cupboard more often than not. If you factor in the price, then it's an absolute bargain. Anyway, that's enough chat from me. I'm gonna get back out and give it some more road testing. This is a sub 200 pounds helmet. So is it as nicely finished as some of the premium helmets out there? No, of course it's not, but you're not paying north of £500 for this helmet. So if you like that, and I'm sure Biltwell won't mind me saying this, but that Simpson style helmet, uh, this is the one for you. So there you have it, the Biltwell Lane Splitter helmet. Looks fantastic, is well made, really comfortable, quieter than I expected, good ventilation, and it comes in at under £200. I think that's an absolute bargain, and this could well be one of the most used helmets that I have through the summer. I hope you found that review useful. If you've got any comments or questions, you know where to put them down below. And all that leaves me to say is thanks for watching. Until next time, take care, ride safe, and that be better off. Yeah.